Konnichiwa. My name is Rohit Shir Prasad and I'm the founder of RSP in Japan. In today's video, we are going to talk about some misconceptions that lead to misunderstanding of Japanese language and grammar. In today's video, we are going to specifically talk about the phrase Yoroshiku o negaishimasu. So let's begin. In today's video, we are going to talk about the phrase Yoroshiko Negaishimasu. And I can say it definitely that till date you were learning it wrong, or you didn't know what it means, or maybe the person who was explaining did not know how to explain it. Now you must have heard a lot of people say Yoroshiku, or just simply Yoroshiku ne. Then you must have heard people saying Yoroshiko Negaishimasu. Also, you might have heard people saying Dozo Yoroshiku Onegaishimasu. For people who are doing N2 or write usually emails and everything, they must be knowing that some people use Onegaitaishimasu. So, now what is the difference? The first thing which you might already know, I'm just gonna state it again. There are different levels of respect when you are talking to your friend. When you're talking to a person who is at your same level, and then when you're talking to a person who is at a higher level. So, there are th basically three levels of respect while talking Japanese. First of all, when you're talking to a junior, then if you're talking to a person at the same level, and if you're talking to a person who is your boss or something like that. When you're talking to a person who is your junior, in Japanese it is called Meshita, which means below your eyes. So basically what it means that here you are using the phrases like Yoroshiku or Yoroshikune. When you're talking to a person who is at your same level, you give them some sort of respect. And to show that you use phrases like Yoroshiku Onegaishimasu. Usually you use forms like this and mass at the end of the sentence to make it respect. When you're talking to a person me ue, which means people who are at a higher level, in that case you make sure that you use the polite form which is keigo or son keigo. Also, here is where we say yoroshiku onegai tashimasu or dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Now in this, you must have noticed that Onegaishimasu is usually said that it's please. But Negai or Negao means to wish. And Onegaishimasu, here O dash and Shimas is just a N2 or N3 level grammar pattern. Which simply means that you are trying to show respect. Now. What happens here is, this sentence structure can be used for anything. For example, O shirase shimasu, O hanashi shimasu, something like that. Here, what happens is, if you're wishing something politely, it means that you're requesting. That is why, onegai shimasu is the closest to please. Next, coming to the main phrase. Which is Yoroshiku. Yoroshiku is just the polite form of good, which is yoi or so. The polite form of e des is Yoroshiku or Yoroshi des. Yoroshiku is actually Yoroshi, which means good. Now, what happens here is that Yoroshi. And onegaishimasu. One is an adjective, the second one is actually a verb. And we have learned already, or if you are in N3 or N4, you might get an idea that when an adjective is added or compounded with a verb, usually it is written as ku or ni. 
for example let's take a very familiar example which is nani nani narimas if it is na adjective or a noun it is said to be ni narimas for example ame ni narimas then if it is an e adjective then we use ku narimas simply ame ga hidoku narimas here you must have seen that an adjective when added to a verb simply is compounded using these forms but you never knew you always thought that it was a grammar structure which it is but there is more to it so talking more about it now yoroshiku is yoroshi which means good in a humble way so it means that your when you say yoroshiku and gaishimas it means you are saying good and wish or please usually in english language there is a phrase called nice to meet you and yoroshiku ne gaishimas is usually translated or interpreted as nice to meet you now let's take an example the people who usually write emails or talk to their bosses when they write an email at the end there is always yoroshiku ne gaishimas or dozo yoroshiku ne gaishimas if you put a request for example please write the letter for me tegami o kaite moraimasen ka the answer is yes then you say yoroshiku ne gaishimas here you're not saying please to meet you or nice to meet you but instead what are you trying to say you are actually trying to say that please treat me well or we want good response from you or being a junior or treating yourself as a junior it simply means that you are asking well from the person that's all yoroshiku ne gaishimas i wish for your good behavior yoroshiku ne gaishimas is more than a phrase which is commonly used it has different grammar structures involved in it understanding japanese makes it easier for you to learn more but if you just try to memorize it it's as difficult as ever thank you i hope you've learned a lot today and in next videos we are going to talk and unveil such misconceptions or misunderstandings please subscribe to stay updated